Earth slowed down dramatically during the worst ever mass extinction Chinese-led study finds. The U.S. study confirms the rotation of Earth's inner core has slowed. The new study provides clear evidence that the inner core began to decrease its speed about 2010. USC scientists have proven that the Earth's inner core is backtracking, slowing down in relation to the planet's surface, as shown in new research published Wednesday in Nature. It's getting intense, folks. So buckle up, buttercup. Let's jump right in. Research studies from an international panel of scientists confirm the biggest extinction events in history happen when the Earth's rotation slows. Well, guess what? Right now, hot off the press, a U.S. study also confirms that the Earth's core is slowing. This is the latest information. Real quick, want to get away? <laughs> Remember that commercial? Anyway, so I think about that because I got into podcasting full time about eight years ago. I mean, I've been doing podcasts longer than that, but I actually broke out of the rat race about eight years ago, working for the man and started doing what I love to do. I have a lot of people ask me how I got into it and what is my secret to success. And I say, hey, look, you gotta love what you do. You gotta wake up every day with passion because if you love what you do, it's not really work. But also you gotta have some tricks and tools of the trade, especially in today's day and age with all the competition that's out there to really set yourself apart. So Jay Matta, he's the founder of Gnostic TV. It's an awesome platform. You should definitely check it out. He's also had very successful businesses in insurance and lending. And now he's doing Gnostic TV. How cool is that? He lives in Florida. Well, we put together this four week online course to give you the tools of the trade to help you build your podcast, your social media empire, how to interact with your community, how to build the right thumbnails and hashtags, etc. So send me an email if you're interested, leakproject at gmail.com. Uh, we've only got a couple of spots left for this first event or for the first course. We will have courses in the future, but if you wanna be a part of the first course, definitely send me an email sooner than later. Do what you love to do. Make money for your voice. And let's get back to the podcast right now. Hello. How does it feel to treat me like you do? I'm not even wearing pants. Yes. Earth slowed down dramatically during the worst ever mass extinction Chinese-led study finds. Two major shifts in the speed the world spins round were found. One during the Great Dine and the other during a sudden explosion of life. So that's pretty cool. This is going to complement that article. The U.S. study confirms the rotation of Earth's inner core has slowed. The new study provides clear evidence that the inner core began to decrease its speed around 2010. So we're going to dive deep into both of these articles. But let me read this to you first from the International Center for Science and Technology Innovation. Scientists chart Earth's ancient rotation slowdown. A joint study of geological data by Chinese and foreign researchers has led and revealed that the Earth's rotation decelerated in a step-like pattern 700 million to 200 million years ago. Throughout the Earth's history, its rotation has been gradually slowing down due to factors such as tidal dissipation, glacier melting, and tectonic plate movements. However, the variation of the rate of deceleration through time has not been established yet. In a paper published last week in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, researchers said there were two intervals from 650 million to 500 million years ago and 350 million to 280 million years ago when the deceleration of rotation was high, separated by an interval of stalled deceleration from 500 to 350 million years ago. Ma Chao, the corresponding author and a professor at the Chengdu University of Technology, said university geologists, along with a team led by French astronomer Jacques Lescar, and teams of geologists from Germany and Ireland reconstructed the evolution of the Earth's rotational deceleration during the period from 700 million to 200 million years ago, based on new analysis of selected high-quality cyclical sedimentary records. The study found that during that period, the distance between Earth and the Moon increased by approximately 20,000 kilometers, and the length of a day increased by about 2.2 hours. This time period has significant research value due to its relatively complete geological records and its involvement in major events of the Earth's evolution, including the Cambrian explosion of life around 540 million years ago and the Permian-Triassic extinction event about 250 million years ago. Ma said, 
modeling indicated that the development of major glaciations during the Paleozoic era, roughly 540 to 250 million years ago, had a negligible impact on Earth's rotation, according to the study. Tidal dissipation had been the main driver for decelerating the Earth's rotation before it slowed down to the point where a day lasted over 23 hours and 45 minutes, Ma said, noting that this occurred approximately 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, the era of the dinosaurs. After that, the Earth's rotation was mainly influenced by factors including mantle, convection, tectonic plate movements, and the redistribution of ice sheets, he said. Two studies published earlier this year in Nature and PNAS revealed that the melting of polar ice sheets caused by global warming is significantly decelerating the Earth's rotation, attracting wide attention from academia and the public. The deceleration has increased at 1.33 milliseconds per century since 2000, up from approximately 0.3 to 1 millisecond per century, according to the studies. International Center for Science and Technology Innovation. Read all about it. Okay. Here's the PDF. Geological evidence reveals a staircase pattern in Earth's rotational deceleration evolution. The charts are there as well. Now I'm going to go over to this article from Nature, Inner Core Backtracking by Seismic Waveform Change Reversals. I've shared this with you before, and the abstract essentially tells you how they've taken technology and seismic data from earthquakes in certain regions of the world, and they're able to create a model of what the Earth's inner core might look like. Now, obviously, they're not down there, so they're doing their best to see it without seeing it. And these computer models suggest that it's basically a core that that moves around in a way that it's almost like a blob, and it sloshes back and forth. And according to the data, every 70 years, there's like this 70-year cycle of the core slowing. And right now, they confirm that the Earth has indeed, the core of the Earth has slowed down substantially to where you've got articles coming out on CNN that say the Earth's core has potentially reversed. So let's just read the abstract real quick. If you haven't heard it already, the solid inner core suspended within the liquid outer core and anchored by gravity has been inferred to rotate relative to the surface of Earth or change over years to decades based on changes in seismograms from repeating earthquakes and explosions. It has a rich inner structure and influences the pattern of the outer core convection and therefore Earth's magnetic field. Here we compile 143 distinct pairs of repeating earthquakes, many within 16 multiplets, built from 121 earthquakes between 1991 and 2023 in the South Sandwich Islands. We analyze their inner core penetrating PKIKP waves recorded on the medium aperture arrays in northern North America. We document that many multiplets exhibit waveforms that change and then revert at later times to match earlier events. The matching waveforms reveal times at which the inner core reoccupies the same position relative to the mantle as it did at some time in the past. The pattern of matches together with previous studies demonstrates that the inner core gradually super rotated from 2003 to 2008 and then from 2008 to 2023, sub-rotated two to three times more slowly back through the same path. These matches enable precise and unambiguous tracking of inner core progression and regression. The resolve different rates of forward and backward motion suggests that the new models will be necessary for the dynamics between the inner core, outer core, and mantle. So the Earth's inner core has indeed slowed. Now, if we're going to look at this, just do a, a quick search, you can see here that according to the 2023 study that tracks seismic waves from earthquakes, the core's spin followed a 70-year cycle, and that core's speed and direction changed roughly every 70 years. The core may have paused its rotation and reversed, but this isn't the first time it happened. The next core speed up is expected to occur in 5 to 10 years. USC Today, USC.edu. The U.S. study confirms the rotation of Earth's inner core has slowed. The new study provides clear evidence that the inner core began to decrease its speed about 2010. USC scientists have proven that the Earth's inner core is backtracking, slowing down in relation to the planet's surface, as shown in new research published Wednesday in Nature, which I just shared with you. 
Movement of the inner core has been debated by the scientific community for two decades, with some research indicating that the inner core rotates faster than the planet's surface. The new USC study provides unambiguous evidence that the inner core began to decrease its speed about 2010, moving slower than the Earth's surface. When I first saw the seismograms that hinted at this change, I was stumped, said John Vidal, Dean's professor of Earth Sciences at the USC Dornsif College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences. But when we found two dozen more observations signaling the same pattern, the result was inescapable. The inner core has slowed down for the first time in many decades. Other scientists have recently argued for similar and different models, but our latest study provided the most convincing resolution. So let's see what it says about the impact on the Earth's surface. The implications of this change in the inner core's movement for Earth's surface can only be speculated. Vidal said, the backtracking of the inner core may alter the length of a day by fractions of a second. It's very hard to notice on the order of a thousandth of a second, almost lost in the noise of the churning oceans and atmosphere. The USC scientist Future Research aspires to chart the trajectory of the inner core in even greater detail to reveal exactly why it's shifting. The dance of the inner core might be even more lively than we know so far, Vidal said. Read all about it, usc.edu. Go back to this article from South China Morning Post. So as I said earlier, the speed at which the world spins round slowed dramatically twice, hundreds of millions of years ago, one time coinciding with the biggest mass extinction event, and one time connected to one of the biggest evolutionary events in recorded history. Now, according to this study, Earth's rotation has been decelerating due to this phenomenon throughout history, but this rate has varied over time. Now, the changes in gravity caused by variations in the distance between the moon and the earth are known to cause differences in ocean tides, and the friction between the tides and the earth's surface also cause a slight deceleration in its rotation. Now, at the same time, Earth's tr earth transfers momentum to the moon, causing it to gradually move outward. There was uh, two years of analysis uh, the team was led by Ma Chow from the Institute of Sedimentary Geology at Chengdu University of Technology, and they concluded that between 700 million and 200 million years ago, the distance between Earth and the moon increased by about 20,000 kilometers. That's about 12,000 miles. So that caused the length of the day to increase to about 2.2 hours per day. The team also included astronomers from France, geologists from Germany, Ireland, and they found the Earth's rotation deceleration is not a smooth process. It includes periods of rapid deceleration followed by intervals of stability. Intervals of stability. Na -na -na -na. <laughs> Specifically, there are two intervals with pronounced Earth rotation deceleration. Between 650 and 500 million years ago and between 350 and 280 million years ago, separated by a period of stalled deceleration from 500 to 350 million years ago. The team wrote in a paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences this month, the first shift coincided with the Cambrian explosion, which is when complex life forms rapidly diversified, including the ancestors of many modern species. Also, the second shift around 250 million years ago coincides with the Great Dine, an event also known as the Permian-Triassic extinction event, wiping out 90% of life on Earth. And researchers suggested that volcanic activity, changes in the climate, sea levels, salt levels, were the main causes. Ma linked the changes in sea conditions to the sudden shift of the Earth's rotation, telling Science and Technology Daily the two major fast, slow deceleration periods may have provided the necessary conditions for the early evolution of marine ecosystems. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Lots to talk about, lots going on. I also find it fascinating the, the papers published about how if you look outside of the, like, like these trans-Neptunian objects, these massive planetary bodies are clumping up together. And some astronomers are suggesting it's from a planet nine and others say it just has to do with the mechanics of the universe. but it is really interesting 
to read these reports. And then when you find out about these hyper velocity brown dwarfs in the Milky Way that are attempting to, to leave the Milky Way at literally a million miles an hour. And this is an article that I just shared with you guys. There's this hyper velocity object that's moving at faster than a million miles an hour. And they speculate it's a brown dwarf based upon the, the size of the object. It's about 88 times the mass of Jupiter. Some people uh, in the comment section say it reminds them of fifth element. There's a lot of weird stuff in the universe, and there's a lot of fascinating objects out there that seem to rewrite the mechanics that we know it of the universe. So a lot going on. I don't know if you know, it'd be interesting to see if we could connect the the mechanics of the Earth changing, of the Earth's core slowing down, if there's possibly a connection to a binary star, or if it's just connected to our planet, you know, our star, the sun, as well as maybe other planetary bodies within the solar system. But it's kind of hard to th it's kind of hard to believe that a planet outside of these the trans Neptunian object or a planet. How do I, these trans Neptunian objects are so massive, right? So why would another planet that's way out in the galaxy, possibly even smaller than these trans Neptunian objects? unless there's some weird gravitational force. I don't know, I, I just don't understand enough about the mechanics, but they even speculated it was like a grapefruit-sized black hole out there that was causing these planets to clump together. So they don't really know what's going on either. But what I do know is going on is it's an awesome day today, and I hope you have a beautiful day today. Hit that bell, be well. Check us out on Patreon and leapproject.com and be the change you want to see. It's fun. <laughs>